So today we're going to talk about Gecko on Bind because I like Gecko and I like Bind. And Bind is coming back. And Gecko, I think we started to see some doubters creep in about Gecko as there hasn't really been a convincing use, at least at the pro level, of Gecko thus far. And so I wanted to see, well, maybe Bind, maybe that could be Gecko's map. And before we dive into the map itself, one of the reasons why is because there's potentially an opening up for Gecko. On Bind, this is the old Bind meta, you could say, with uh, Champs 22 here. Uh, this is what the meta was, where we had a lot of Viper, as you can see there, 100% on Raze. We got 85% on Sky, 85% on Brim. Uh, but then that fifth slot was kind of a bit more open. And the main two uh, players in that fifth slot before was Chamber and Fade. Now... Chamber, of course, we're not going to see too much Chamber, I don't think. Uh, but Fade, although Fade has kind of fallen out of favor a bit, uh, let's say, I still, th still think there will be a place for Fade, particularly, obviously, the fade raise combo. And so that might be Gecko's main competition. And so why would Gecko be good on this map bind? Well, it's for a couple reasons. One, this map is full of tight little spaces, and the mosh pit, I think, has a real chance to just own on this map. And I will be showing you, you know, some lineups here for mosh pit and how you might want to use mosh pit on this map but i mean if you look at some of the places you can put it you know like here on the back b site yeah that's a pretty good mosh pit or maybe he want to clear out this corner right well yeah that's a pretty good mosh pit as well looks like a pretty good one to me so that's kind of the first uh, little reason that i think the mosh pit will be uh, very good on this map uh the second reason though is because of the way that this map is kind of designed and plays out and this is true for some of the other maps as well actually i think it's true for some of the other maps where gecko is actually better uh that this is a bit of a Sign. But Bind as a map, if we take a look at it, is often a map where you will have to use utility to take a space before actually going to the site itself, right? You often will get a, you know, contestation here between defenders and attackers for shower, right? And you might need to come and use utility to clear this out before you actually then use utility again to come out on into the site. Uh, the same is true, uh, maybe less so for short, but it still can definitely happen here for short, where right you, know, you do get fights right in here there. or need to clear that corner, but maybe it's less true there. But towards hooker, it's definitely true, right? Where you're gonna almost certainly need to use utility in here to clear things out before then using utility again to actually come in onto the site. And the same is true for long as well, where again, this is going to be a pretty common fighting angle that you might want to use utility to, you know, clear right out there. this angle here to right clear there. out guard and things like that before then again using utility to actually come in onto the site. And so because this is a map where you kind of want to slowly work your way up through the map using utility as you go, well, that kind of suits uh, Gecko, does it not? Where we're going to use utility in here, right? We're going to be taking this with utility and then coming and, and picking up said utility like so and then maybe we'll go to a different area right and use our utility again and you know maybe we'll come for our a exec so let's say we've just done that with our team come and take in showers control and now we're going to go for our a exec here's a little lineup for you where you are going to use the mosh pit you're just going to line up uh the top corner the top left corner of kind of the left click throw box uh with the uh, with this little I don't even know what it is, the boarded up window or whatever. And uh, you're just going to do a jumping throw and then you could combine this with like you know, a jumping dizzy down there. Your mosh pit is going to land just in here, which is kind of crazy, crazy mosh pit. That's really good. And your dizzy is going to come across here and maybe you even, you know, then start to run down short and get your wingman to plant the spike as well, right? And then you can come and as wingman to plant the spike, you can potentially you know, take the site with the rest of your team. You pick them both up, all that kind of stuff. You have them again. For the post plant that's like a little example of how a round might go with gecko on bind an example for the b site might be something very very simple like this i think honestly this is a use of gecko that we haven't seen enough even at the very highest levels of the game where you could just chuck a dizzy off the start of the rip of the round right and if someone's wanting to be aggressive out here and you know try and take this fight early well, they're either going to have to shoot this and give up that that's what they want to do, or they're just going to get flashed and probably just run back, right? Like, that's probably what's going to happen. And you really don't lose anything by doing this, right? And once you flash them off this initial angle, this is still pretty safe, uh, especially assuming you're with team. And then again, you wait the 10 seconds, and then maybe, you know, you send in the wingman, you send in the dizzy, you know, to again try and come and clear out these areas. You come and clear out hooker, you get this control, maybe they smoke you off, maybe they don't, right? You come and get this early control, you again pick up the wingman and the dizzy, away you go doing it again and so once you've got this hooker control again here's some lineups for you for the mosh pit uh the first one here is going to land back site you're just going to want to put like i don't even know what you call this part of the ui but the health ui bit 
uh, kind of in that corner there and uh, do again a jumping throw. This is going to land uh, up towards the back site here, as you will see. So it just lands nicely there and you know, clears kind of uh, behind the box there on site. And then a second one uh, for you here is uh, where you're just going to see how the cloud kind of does a little L shape here. You're just going to aim for kind of the middle of the bottom of this L shape. Uh, is the best way I can put it. And uh, you're just going to yeah, throw it up. And uh, again, this one is going to land uh, pretty neatly in towards the cubby here. And uh, just come and clear all of this up for you. So there's two little lineups. And again, you can complement this uh, with uh, with a Dizzy as well, right? So if we go for, go for our first lineup there and then throw a Dizzy like something like that. Uh, again, as we come into the site, again, maybe we send the wingman to plant, the Dizzy will land just there, and you'll have a mosh pit back site, and the enemies, you know, uh, assuming other utilities coming in as well, you know, they're going to be in quite a bit of trouble. Now, defensively is obviously where Gecko, I think, has struggled uh, for the most part here early on in his kind of reign. And uh, that obviously will, I still think, be true on this map as well, where he's going to be better on the attack side than he is defense side. But there is still some nice things you can do. You know, a, a thrown up dizzy like this, right, is, is kind of right acting there. like that sky flash where, again, it will flash anyone here for you or they'll shoot it, right? And you'll get you'll get the information oh, either you, way, you. right? And so you'll be, you'll be pretty happy with that, getting that information. There's also potential you could do, you know, something like this. If you come, like, and line up with the with the hooker, like, sky window here, and just throw one up at the start of the round again. Uh, this dizzy you know will be able to right see there. out towards uh, short early on and uh, will be able to get you that information as well so there are some uses uh, potentially there but i think again the the mosh bit is going to be you know really good for delaying hits uh, just in general if you can find the timing right i mean here in, here in the garden i mean it literally can pretty much cover the entire garden and actually push them all the way back out so i think having such a large mosh bit on this map you know, it, it, it's just going to be really, really useful. I mean, in shower here as well, right? Oh, Throwing it something like that. Or let's say, you know, you are defending here and you just you know, throw it off against that wall there. You know, again, this is a pretty big area that, you know, they aren't going to be able to enter into. So I do think there are some real potential. And I could see a situation where, you know, you're being pushed here in shower. The attackers right are coming this way uh, towards you. And, you know, you throw this mosh pit and then you decide, okay, let's go and retake shower with my team. You start throwing in this util at them, right? They get flashed, they get stunned, all that stuff. You come and retake shower. And that could be a pretty common use of Gecko on this map as well. And I haven't even really mentioned the ult, which, again, on such a map with such tight corners, right? You know, someone around here, you know, doesn't really have the time necessarily to react, right? It's all it's all very tight in here, and you can, you know, very quickly potentially get a detain off and get your free kills. So those are just some of my thoughts on why Gecko might be somewhat useful on buy. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think of Gecko overall? What do you think of the new bind? What will be meta on the new bind?